Hey guys, Tepco Cycle Repair. Today I'm going to show you how I splice wires together. Um, there's some cases where you want to solder them and others when you don't. When you have a lot of vibration and stuff, you don't want to just lay them together and solder them because the solder will eventually break and crack. And also the um, flux that you're using for the solder is acidic and it can damage your wires and cause corrosion. So the way that I like to do it is, uh, is a, twist, a twist style that turns out nice and solid. And here is it completed. I'm going to show you what I do. So basically you want to splice enough wire uh, and expose the, uh, the inner part so you can make two nice crosses here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put them together. All right, and this point here, I leave a little bit of gap in the middle so I have a small triangle. And then I'm going to go ahead and splice them, spin them together on each side to start with. All right, so now we're looking like that. You see that little gap in the middle? Of course, if you pull it apart here, you'll be able to pull it apart. So now what you want to do is take one side, bend it towards you, and take the other one and bend it away. So I'm going to be twisting them against each other and wrapping them back around themselves. Okay, and then when I get them all nice and tight wrapped up that way, I'm just going to grab them and really just spin them together tightly. Okay, now we're looking something like that, and these are solid. I mean, you can pull on this thing and really yank on it, and it won't come apart. All right, and now what I have here is I got some uh, heat shrink. So I'm going to put some, now if you use like, if it's going to be any water or anything in there, you can use some of the heat shrink that has like um, some of the uh, sealant on the inside of it. All right, and that help us, helps out, like keep water and stuff out. So I'm going to slide that in there. All right, slide this one in here. It's down in the center. Now I'm going to get the heat gun. All right, now we're looking like that. All right, and at that point there, you can put another piece of shrink wrap if you want to kind of seal everything up nicely, or you can wrap it with uh, electrical tape. I prefer shrink wrap on it, and then you have nice, two nice, strong connections that are not going to come apart. Hopefully this helps you out, guys. You don't have to solder everything. Twisting like this is fine. This will last forever with no problems at all, and uh, you're good to go. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, guys. Until next time, this is Tepco Cycle Repair.